Amazon has made updates to its search algorithm that could be costing you thousands of dollars and you don't even know about it. My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. Just in the past two weeks, I've had more than 10 people reach out to me asking about problems with indexing. I'm gonna go through and document the problem as we understand it today and ascertain what we think is going on. Now, the one problem is, is there's not a known solution to this issue, which is why I've waited so long to even make this awareness video. So this video won't be a problem solving video, it's a general awareness video to help you understand what's going on. All right, so let's dive in here. Um, so I had, a, I had a client reach out, gave me a, a whole Loom video about the problem that he's experiencing. I'm gonna recreate the problem live for you so you can understand it. Basically what happened is there's a very popular product uh, that, that sells very well in the UK market. And it's a sunglasses. So this is, this is uh, you know, top men's sports sunglasses. So very, very popular type product. So the problem is, is when you type in sports sunglasses like this, they do come up number one when there's no category associated here because it has the word sports. However, if you remove any of the sports vernacular and you switch it out of the, and, and you are in the sports and outdoors category, it will still come up just like Cerebro says it's ranking for, right? So men's sunglasses polarize. Uh, this issue is very complicated, which is why it's, it's going to be even difficult to explain this. Um, but basically, you know, they're showing up in rank one when the category shows up as sports and outdoors like this. Now, now check this out. I'm going to take the same search term. And I'm going to switch it from sports and outdoors to all departments. And what you're going to notice here is the item is not even indexed, right? So we scroll down page after page after page, completely unindexed. And this is a new problem that has surfaced here in the last couple of weeks. So clearly somebody who would want to buy something polarized for sunglasses would probably use it for sports as well, right? There's not a lot of differentiation between this product right here and the ones that Amazon is deciding to display here. Very, very similar type sunglasses. So what this means is, is that the indexing that Cerebro and other uh, keyword tools say you're doing is no longer true in all categories. So the user behavior Somebody might come into Amazon and type in men's sunglasses polarized and your number one selling best product won't even show up in search results even though you're ranked number one when the category is switched over to sports and outdoors. So you saw me flip that back and forth twice now. You can see product shows up right here, organic slot number one when sports and outdoors is selected. So this seems like a very purposeful update on Amazon's part, but it's gonna cost you thousands and thousands of dollars if your product is affected. I would venture to guess that about 5% of Amazon sellers are impacted by this change. And I, and I made that guess based on the number of reach outs we've gotten. So it's pretty extensive. Uh, the way that you could find out if you're affected would be to take some of your top keywords that you rank in slots one through three on, type them out and switch the category dropdown. If you don't show up when all departments is in use, you're in trouble. If you show up in the category you sell in, but you don't show up in all departments, you're in trouble. So that's the problem. So that's what the awareness comes in. Now, sales are obviously tanking for people who normally would show up in organic slot one when their item was being found through, through generic search. And that is again, when somebody is not selecting a category dropdown. For products that have um, crossover between multiple categories, this could be a very devastating blow to you as the, user, as the seller because uh, sunglasses for sports no longer shows up for generic terms. And your item that might have been the top seller could be affected in the thousands of dollars in weekly sales. Of note here, this does not seem to be affecting advertising. However, if you're advertising on these keywords and part of the reason you were advertising on them was to get some of that nice SEO juice, you're losing out on it now 
especially if you wanted to be ranking for that term without a category being selected on the search. In all of the ticketing that we've done at My Amazon Guy, as well as the clients or the people reaching out to us that are affected, Amazon has given a very generic response, basically indicating that they're aware there is an indexing problem at this time. Um, and we do know that they made a very large indexing search algorithm update about two weeks ago, because over that course of that weekend, we saw massive problems with products not even showing up at all in the indexing. By about Sunday evening, so the problem started like Friday evening, and by Sunday evening, and this was in the middle of May, two weeks ago, uh, it, it had corrected itself. But what had stayed was the indexing problem based on the category that you are in. So many people who have crossover products who would, are now only showing up in their own category search division instead of the all division search nodes which could devastate organic sales for your products. So uh, one of the other interesting things, and we're going to have a guest come on our podcast later this week to discuss this, is, 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 is diagnostics that show that Amazon is part of that re-indexing search is very likely Amazon is trying to reposition its own products higher in the search results. In addition to that, uh, they've diagnosed that Amazon is potentially disabling search results for items that are found off of Amazon. And, and so I'll pull up the LinkedIn post where they're discussing this publicly. So Jed Rawson, he is the founder of another Amazon agency and their team figured out, quote, after a ton of deep sleuthing, Amazon is intentionally deprioritizing SKUs that have cross-channel exposure in retailers like Walmart and Target, prioritizing Amazon-only direct-to-consumer brands. Bombshell report, and I agree with him, by the way. For brands working with us, we're going to use it as an unparalleled opportunity to capitalize on the seismic shift. The question is, will Amazon's A9 algorithm tweaks they've been testing along these lines become permanent or transitionary? And so uh, Jed actually tagged me in this post. There was a lot of good discussion here in the thread. We'll put a copy of this at the top of our YouTube description video because um, what's really interesting by this is it, it, it poses a lot of questions like, should we be uh, putting in unique UPCs to Amazon to try and avoid the cross-contamination of you know selling our products on Walmart? Or should we just close our Walmart shop altogether and not even bother because the, the damage that could potentially be done would be greater than the value gained from being on those platforms? These are really deep-rooted questions that I don't have a, a correct answer on at the time of shooting this video, but they're things I've been thinking about for almost a full two weeks now, um, coming into June now. So really interesting stuff. Uh, I'll be be investigating this as much as I can. I generally like to do videos where I solve problems. Doing a general awareness video is not necessarily my favorite thing to do, but I think it's important to do these on occasion to say, hey, here's a problem. I don't know the solution. I don't know the ramifications, but it's gonna impact you guys. Um, so if you've been impacted by this, we'd love to hear you in the comment section say, yeah, I've been impacted. Here's, here's what happened. Feel free to share that. A client we've been working with for more than a year found us first on YouTube. Here's what they had to say about our services. Hi, my name is Sue Libby and I own a business called Baraka Sinus Products. We've been selling on Amazon since 2017. And for the first year, things were going well. Our sales were going up, up, up. And then they started declining and I couldn't figure out why. So when I was looking through YouTube, I happened to see Steven speaking. He looked like a honest guy with a great message. So we started working with him and it's been fabulous. He has given us everything he said he would. He's not somebody who just promised you the sky and then doesn't deliver. He and his team are really on top of things. Um, they help create uh, our um, brand uh, A-plus content. They helped us uh, optimize our pages on Amazon. And um, then when COVID hit, uh, they were just uh, someone and they continue to be someone I can just pick up the phone and going, why is Amazon taking down this product? And uh, they have good information because they're working with so many people uh, that they can say, hey, you know, that's happened to 20 or 30 of our other clients. So I definitely recommend working with Steven. I wouldn't be able to do what we're doing without him.